Students at Mount St. Joe University have a new classmate today. Umi is a child mummy. The exhibit is being relocated from the Cincinnati Museum Center because of the restoration going on there. Nine on your side, Allie Kramer has the latest on move-in day and why officials chose Mount St. Joe. Allie? The library here at Mount St. Joseph University is really significant to the new temporary home of the science of mummies because two of the professors actually led the research on Umi. Umi is an was interesting find. Uh, I was approached by the museum center uh, when they were just ready to go on, on the exhibit. They just completed the CAT scan and found all these amulets. Amulets are generally items that bring protection from danger or harm. And within Umi's wrappings, experts found more than two dozen. Well, there's a, a, a wonderful array, including the, the four sons of Horus. And they uh, equipped his body with all these amulets to ensure resurrection, the protection of the body, to make sure that uh, his neck functioned properly and, uh, as he, and help guide him into the, the afterlife. The scans reveal much more about Umi's lifestyle. Umi was a young uh, child for about age four approximately. Uh, he clearly was from a wealthy family. You wouldn't expect uh, 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 some of the farmers and what have you to do a mummy of this quality. Uh, his parents uh, clearly loved him to uh, uh, go through the elaborate ceremony of having him mummified in a cardinage. And when you see the exhibit, you may recognize the similarities between our lifestyles and that of Umi and his family. Well, I hope that people get an appreciation of the, the intricacies of ancient Egypt. Uh, people are sort of, their, their views might be the pyramids and the mummy movies. And the, this, this mummy represents loving parents. In just a few hours, Umi will be safely nestled inside this box. This will be his home for the next two years. Reporting at Mount St. Joe, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side.